And tonight, work continues after a wreck involving two tractor trailer causes an evacuation. Two lanes of I-24 in Rutherford County are now back open, one eastbound and one westbound. The crash early this morning caused chlorine to spill from one of the trucks, sending a plume of potentially toxic smoke into the air and residents fleeing for a safe place to stay. Let's begin our team coverage tonight with News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis, who's in Murfreesboro along I-24 tonight. And Kimberly, this cleanup is time consuming. That's right, Vicki. It's an intense process and one that takes some time, which is why 13 miles of I-24 was shut down for about 12 hours and the work isn't finished just yet. Crews might be out here working well into the evening. Please shelter inside, bring your pets in and just be really, really careful. A tearful plea for residents to hunker down as hazmat crews work to clean up a chemical spill in Rutherford County. This all comes after two semi trucks collided, causing one truck carrying chlorine tablets to go up in flames. Wow. And officials rush to stop the rising plume of toxic smoke. We have people in different types of suits. Some are interested in their firefighter gear. They're in one zone. Uh, but the guys that are actually going into what we consider the hot zone are in level A suits. At first, crews were going to douse the burning semi with 18,000 gallons of water. When the fire department puts water on that truck, it's going to cause chlorine gas. Dangerous gas that could put residents' health in jeopardy. And that's when officials went back to the drawing board. We have reevaluated and we are not putting water on the fire. We are using dry chemicals instead because we feel like that's a better way to handle the fire. The two drivers were rushed to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, and as the drivers recover, crews are working to find a chemical solution. A private company will come in to remove the chemicals out of the, the wreckage. Uh, they will be placed in the proper containers to transport. Now, those two semi truck drivers were transported to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. They are expected to be okay. Another woman was actually transported to the hospital as well as a precautionary measure. Officials are telling us she was bedridden and could not leave her home. For now, we are live in Murfreesboro this evening. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Kimberly, thank you.